I never liked to use the word obese, but if I wasn't already there, I was rapidly losing my footing on a very slippery slope. I would watch those slender people sunning by the pool, and I would just hate them, because I was fat and they weren't. It wasn't fair that they would get to feel the warm sunshine on their skin, and dive into the crisp cool water when the heat got too much. I wanted to look like them and live like them but I wasn't willing to take the necessary steps to be like them. Yes, I was concerned about my weight and all the extra fat I was carrying around my hips and waist, etc. Yes, I knew there were health risks from being overweight. Yes, I read everything I could get my hands on about getting a flat stomach, the latest diet craze, how to count calories and the fastest way to lose weight. But where the rubber meets the road, I really didn't do anything about it because I was afraid. I was afraid I would have to give up so much that I love. I was afraid I would fail and just beat myself up more. I was afraid I would succeed. For a while, then put it all back on plus a little more. I would have kept being the same way forever but, something occurred to me that just changed the way I looked at myself. And this idea helped me find the motivation to lose weight and burn off that stubborn fat that was clinging to me everywhere. Want to know what I discovered? Okay, it's actually pretty basic and you may have heard this before, but if you can really take this to heart as I did, you'll start to see some amazing changes in your life. Here it is, we substitute food for love. Yeah, I had heard that one before too, but oddly I kept coming back to that idea over and over and I didn't know why. It's odd because I never felt unloved. I have a terrific husband and a very supportive family. I am loved. So what does love have to do with all those extra pounds? I wasn't fat because I was substituting food for love. Ridiculous. It wasn't until I took a good long look at myself in the mirror that I realized something that really rattled me. I didn't like the way my belly fat hung over my jeans. I didn't like the look of my chubby thighs or extra kins. But it was the disdain in my eyes reflected back to me that really shook me. I didn't love me. I was eating to compensate for my lack of self-respect and self-love. Ironically, it was taking control of my binge eating, and learning some very powerful fat-burning techniques and exercises to lose weight, that finally made me love who I was. The big surprise was, I only needed to cut back and not give up most of my favorite foods. Once I got started, the results were self-evident and failure seemed more and more unlikely. The changes I made were enhancing my life, I never felt better. Maintaining is easy, enjoyable and, this is clearly the fastest way to lose weight. I can't possibly imagine ever wanting to go back to the way things were. If you want to hear the whole story about my experiences with fat burning furnace, visit my blog at fatburningfurnacetest.com. Don't forget to grab the permanent weight loss guide free, and receive weight loss tips, right in your inbox.